Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be tackling how to touch up oily, shiny, greasy makeup on the go without ruining it. This is for those days when you leave the house looking perfectly matte and flawless and it gets to like 2 or 3 p.m. and you look into the mirror and you're like, oh, holy shit, I am oily. And you can see, you know, your own reflection, like you can check yourself out, you can see all of that in the shininess on your face. At this point, a lot of people go, oh no, I need to remove all of my makeup and reapply it or... I need to get out this massive suitcase of makeup and try and touch up my face on a train, on a bus, in your office, in a toilet, at school, wherever. Girl, that is way too much effort. You do not want to be lugging around a whole bag of makeup just to touch up. You do not need it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can very easily and quickly touch up your makeup without ruining it using only a couple of things that will fit inside your handbag. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. Okay, so as you can see here, my skin is fairly oily. I've got quite a bit of oil through the T-zone, on my nose, under my eyes, the chin area, the forehead, pretty well got oil everywhere. So to touch this up now and avoid having to actually remove the foundation and start again, you know, to continue wearing it through the day or, you know, wear it into the evening. First up, I want you to take a beauty blender. Now, preferably, I would like it to be dirty. Now, I know that sounds like really gross, but, um, you know, I used this beauty blender this morning to apply the makeup. So I would just pop that in my handbag and have it ready to touch up on the go. Don't wet it and um, leave it dry. You know, if it's still got moisture in it from the morning, that's fine as well, but just don't add any extra moisture. Now, what I want you to do is have a close look at your face and identify if there are any areas where the foundation has moved or separated. You know how when our oils mix with the foundations they can get like cakey looking. Um, it particularly happens on the top lip, nose, um, forehead kind of area. They get quite cakey and they start to separate. I want you to take that beauty blender sponge and I want you to very gently move that foundation back into place. Now don't you know wipe, don't push too hard because that will actually cause the foundation to transfer. The same way that it would transfer if I was to go in right now with a powder brush and try and touch up essentially all I would do is move that makeup and I would have little red um, you know blotchy patches all over my skin and it would just look like a hot mess so yeah using the beauty blender very very carefully move that foundation back you know where it belongs I get quite a lot of separation on my top lip and also you know around my nose and also the sides of my nose I get quite a bit there but yeah, just really move that sponge around very gently. Now you will notice that the sponge will actually start to pick up quite a bit of oil here. Um, you know, and your skin will start to look better already. Now don't worry if you've got areas of redness because you can go in um, with a concealer and touch that up. But um, yeah, just for now, press that foundation back into the skin. She's still good to go. You don't need to wipe it all off. It just needs a little TLC. Now what I want you to do is take some blotting paper. So I'm using the NYX ones here. If you don't have these handy, and these are actually quite affordable, I think they're only a couple of dollars for a packet. But if you don't have any of these handy, you can actually tear up tissues. So what you have to do is separate the layers of tissue and then take one very thin layer um, to blot the oil. These are widely available. You can also use toilet seat covers, although I can't guarantee how hygienic that is. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so picking up a single sheet, you want to take the matte side there. One side's slightly shiny and one side is matte. Take the matte side and very gently, and I mean, look at that. You can see that is sticking to my forehead because I am so oily. <laughs> so you want to um, very gently sort of move this around your face and use it to absorb any excess oil. Now what these blotting papers will do is they'll remove the oils but they won't remove the foundation underneath which is really really important because we don't want to have to apply more foundation. The whole idea of this is that we want our foundation returned back to its original glory without having to put too much effort in. So just dabbing that all around the face, mopping up. I know that's Sounds so gross mopping up, but mopping up all that oil. All right, so this little bit of paper is covered in my delicious oils now. So at this point, just have a quick look. Have you got any acne or breakouts or areas of redness or anything? If you do have any of that, go in and touch up with a concealer. Like I seriously want you to take the tiniest little dab, like, like that. Don't use any more than that. And if you've got any areas of redness, you know, you can just pop that on where you need it. Be very, very gentle. Again, try not to transfer the makeup. Try not to move the makeup. Just very gently apply it where you need it. And then to finish up and reset everything back into place, you want to go in with a translucent powder. Now, I cannot stress how important it is that you use a translucent powder. No powder foundations, no colored mineral foundations, no tinted powders, no nothing. It has to be a translucent powder, otherwise you will look cakey. Your foundation will look heavy, it will look cakey, your skin will show a lot of texture. It has to be a very finely milled translucent powder. These two that I've got here are great because you can just throw them in your handbag and not have to worry about, you know, them leaking like a loose powder. This is the NARS Translucent Crystal Powder and this is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. Both of these will work 
Both are really easy to transport. They're nice and lightweight and you can just throw them in your handbag and not worry. So taking that powder now, I want you to pick up that same beauty blender or any sponge. Try not to use a brush. The bristles on a brush are going to be too harsh and they're going to move the makeup around because there's still too much oil kind of, you know, going on. Um, it's just not, it's just not worth it. So take a beauty blender and pick up some of that powder on the beauty blender and then very, very softly use that to set your entire face again. Now, if there are areas on your face, like if you've got combo skin, if there are areas that aren't oily, don't worry about resetting there. Only apply this to the parts that are oily. For me, that's everywhere because I just live the oily skin life. Just very gentle dabbing motions and, um, you know, a very small amount of powder. Don't go too crazy again. You don't want to end up cakey. Nobody likes looking cakey. Cakiness is not hot. It is not in. <laughs> and there you have it. So you can see my skin is looking really nice and matte now. It looks fresh. It looks like the foundation has just been applied. It doesn't look heavy or cakey, which is generally what the problem is with touch up. There's no areas of redness or patchiness where I've accidentally rubbed off the makeup trying to touch up. Um, it just looks essentially like I've applied a fresh face of makeup. Now at this point, so many people make the mistake of going and applying a setting spray again. Don't do it. Do not apply another setting spray. Think about when you get sunburn and you're told not to apply a moisturizing cream on top of sunburn because it locks in the heat. Basically, if I was to apply a setting spray now at this point, I would be locking in those oils and not allowing my skin to breathe. It's a little bit different when you originally apply your makeup because you want to lock the foundation in place to stop the oils getting through, but we've already got oils happening. So there's no point in not allowing them to breathe. Translucent powder and you are done. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. So many of you have been requesting and I know touching up on the go can be a little bit of a scary area. I have always done it this way using only three things that are very easily, you know, popped in my handbag or, you know, my school bag or my work bag or whatever. You can chuck it in your work drawer. Easy, portable, compact. You don't have to pack, you know, an entire kit of makeup and remove your makeup in a bathroom somewhere and get caught. <laughs> it's just a really super easy way to do it. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys heaps. Please let me know your requests in the comment section down below what videos you want to see next. I'm always here to help. We are sisters, you guys. We are all in this together. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.